Hi, Anthony, how are you? Hi, Coach Cooper. How are you? Hello. Great. How are you? Good, good. Um, uh, is it okay with the light back there? I'm going to close the window. I think so, but I'm going to let Anthony jump in when he's ready and see okay. if that's okay. okay. At least I'll close it. I think it should be fine. Again, as soon as Anthony's on, I'm sure he'll jump in and say, but um, I think it looks great that way. Yeah. It's better. Joey, Anthony is joining now, so I don't worry. Um, Terrific. Can you hear me? Hello. 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 Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. We can hear you. How you doing? Hello. We can't see you. Hi, Anthony. Yeah, we're here. Yeah, we we hear you. We just don't see you. Okay, you can just see me. Okay. Can you and see me now? Uh, no, we just see a black screen. Why? Why a black screen? Why? 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 Hold on one minute. No problem.
Hi, Anthony. Is everything okay? You made me the host of the meeting, which I, I'm totally fine with. I just want to make sure you're aware of that. And if it's okay with Dewey, we could start the interview. And, you know, if your, your screen is not, um, if you're not on your screen, I think that shouldn't be an issue. Yeah. I don't even think he's on or he's voided or muted. Probably yeah. lost the signal or something. Yeah, let's give it a few minutes. Yep, yep. Yes, well, I have some pineapple juice. <laughs> oh, that's good. I thought it was orange juice. Pineapple juice is interesting. Yes, yes. The weather there in New York, it's freezing, so I assume it's really oh, hot. And oh, it's cold out there. It's oh, freezing. no. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, the weather's good out here. It feels like San Diego. It's actually a little cold at night, but only like 60, 57. But, you know, it's almost light jacket type breeze. Let's not okay. show up, okay? 67 is plenty <laughs> hot. <laughs> well, we're working no, with no, no. 15 degrees. Oh, oh yeah, no, no. I'm saying for the Middle East, last time we were here, it was yeah. hot at night, like Vegas. I'm like, whoa, you could actually get away with wearing, wearing a jacket out here. A light would, but, you know. Wow. Before it was like at night it was 90 degrees out here. It's like holy smokes. But it feels like San Diego weather right now. It's perfect. That's really, yeah. When it's nice weather, it makes a difference. Oh, so yeah. he, um, I don't know if you saw. So he wrote in the message box he's gonna be in, in a minute. Tony, not Anthony. Interesting. Um, he's just gonna use another device. So we'll give it a few minutes. Um yeah, 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 yeah. No problem. We would have been talking anyway, so I'm, I'm easy. Yeah, on this type of stuff, I'm not a pretty Madonna, you know. We'll get it I in. I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's like they have that big joy, joy awards here, all the actors and whatever celebrities. That's why Francis wants to do a seven o'clock session. We normally do nine today, but he changed it to seven because afterwards we have to go to some kind of dinner. Okay, um, that's not a bad thing. That's nice. Yeah, I'm just like, man. Um, but yeah, at least we had this the the second one scheduled for six. Five forty five so, now. They pushed it up. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, uh, so I would be able to get them both there before we left. Either way, you know what I mean? Definitely. So that's a good thing. Quick question, when do you sleep though? If you're up till like two in the morning and then you have to get back up early, like- Another thing is, Samantha, you probably think I'm I'm lying. I sleep about three hours a day, like my whole wow. life. When I was in high school, I, my, my parents put me in a sleep clinic. They thought something was wrong with me. And my whole life, I've literally, you know, slept three, three and a half hours a day. And I played football, did martial arts, went to school. You know, wow. I've been busy my whole life, so it's crazy. That's why if you see my post, you'll see. Even even today, I went to sleep at 7, 15 a.m. our time. And I woke up at 9 o'clock, like wow. 9 a.m. Uh, yesterday. Yeah, yeah, the, the day before yesterday when I first got here, I actually stayed up till 11.30 in the morning, and I woke up at 2.30. So wow. it's just like... It's been weird. Like, I just can't sleep here. I'm not burning enough energy. Um, normally, I'm so busy. I got so many fighters. I have business I have to do. Um, you know, I would take care of my daughter. Now she's in college, but she's she was in Vegas for the Christmas break. You know, so I had stuff to do, and 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 then I would sleep like three three and a half hours. But now, since I'm only training one fighter, even though it's hard, it's still nothing from what I normally do. I, I just can't sleep. It makes sense. You know, I lay, in, I lay in bed literally all night 
And then I'm not stressed or anything. Life is good right now, but I just cannot sleep. So no, yeah, no. you know, my schedule is so so weird. If I don't burn enough energy, I won't sleep. I won't sleep all night. I'll just stay up for like two days straight like this. And it's like weird. Listen, it's good you but, know that about yourself. Wait, Anthony, yeah. um, are you on now or I see your screen? Yeah, I'm trying to use my Anthony, I don't think we hear you. Oh, I think you muted oh, yourself. Can you hear me now? Yes, now we hear yes. you. Can you hear him? Yeah, uh, I'm trying to. I tried to switch to my my phone. I don't know what's wrong with my computer. Uh, so sorry okay. about the. So sorry about it, and uh, so you know, so sorry for the delay. Can we just quickly? you know, move on to it. Yes, definitely. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. And let's remember, go. we understand. We understand in life, things happen. We'll still do our interview. It's good. No <laughs> problems. <laughs> oh, wow. Fantastic. Yeah, so uh, for me, I'm, I'm, you know, you're excited that uh, uh, Francis Ngono, you know, he's taking Anthony Joshua, you know, you know, it's a long, uh, awaited uh, fight. You know, looking at the last time, the, the, the upset he almost created in boxing, you know, when he took uh, Tyson Fury to the canvas. Uh, no, for me, I'm excited for those of us who are Nigerians, you know, Joshua having a Nigerian heritage. And, uh, you know, this seems to be a very, 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 very a blockbuster. And being the trainer of uh, Francis Ngono, you know, the last fight, you know, he had um, Tyson, um, Mike Tyson, you know, in his training, that trained with him. Uh, I don't know if, you know, this time, and I was his training routine like. Training camp has been great. Uh, we're we're in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, training right now. Francis looks looks fantastic. And uh, March eighth, um, I think you said you you like from Nigeria as well. We got love for our African brethren, mm -hmm. but the Nigerian will fail. On March eighth, it will be about Cameroon. March eighth. <laughs> mm. Wow, wow. For me, for me, I see this fight like I call it the battle of brothers. Uh, Absolutely, it, it's it's the battle of brothers, and uh, you know. Even Francis, uh, when he was still with uh, UFC, has uh, been a very, very good, close supporter of uh, Anthony Joshua. And uh, yeah. now, how does it feel like, you know, when you have two brothers coming into the ring in Saudi Arabia, you know, how's, how is he prepared for this fight? Uh, you know, he's fighting uh, Joshua, he's 34 years, he's younger, Francis is 37, and uh, Joshua is a former world champion himself, he's also a former champion in the UFC. So how is he prepared coming into this fight? Well, well, sir, Tyson Fury was yelling at Francis too. <laughs> so you know how we prepare. You already, you know how we prepare. You already know we worked hard. Francis came up in the sand mines of Cameroon, digging dirt for a living as a kid all the way up. We put the same work ethic into our training camp. We're working hard. If you don't work hard on this level, you will not be successful. The Predator, Francis Ngannou, is working extremely hard. And March 8th, it will all show. Mm. Mm. Wow. I, 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 that's, that, that's a bold one coming. But for you as the trainer, you know, what's Francis doing differently in terms of his diet, his training routine? Uh, how many times does he train now? You know, what does he eat? How does he rest? And all of that. Well, that's private, private information, sir. But I can tell you this: he's he's eating clean, he's training hard, and he's resting well. Mm. March eighth, like I keep trying to tell you, my African brother, my African brother, it's going to be a great fight with two strong African men battling it out. But at the end of the day, you already know. This is destiny. Francis is going to shock the world like he did against Fury. He's going to shock it even more so against Joshua. 
You sound so so motivated, man. And again, Joshua, looking at it, he had, you know, Joshua have struggled in the past, but last year, he won all his three fights. And it's like yes. Joshua is in the form of his life now, as we speak. Yes. And I watched yes. the, the press conference in, in London some few days, uh, himself with Joshua. Joshua is, uh, you know, Joshua on a good day can be can be a, a, a fighter, a deadly fighter. I remember his fight uh, with uh, uh, with uh, Christo the last time. He, so you know, how coming into this fight, coming into this fight, you know, uh, you know, it, it's a fight that you know most uh, boxers have, uh, have uh, boxing fans have looked forward to. And then Joshua is in the form of his life, and for Francis, two years, he's entering into boxing for the first time. Is he looking at you know having the do? It's a non-title fight. You know, after this bout, you know, is he looking at you know in the future having a, a title bout? Well, you at the press conference just like I was in London, what uh, five days ago? You were there. Your Excellency Turkey Ali Sheikh said the winner of the Ngannou versus Joshua fight will face the winner of Usyk and Fury. So absolutely, after we win on March 8th, 12 round world title fight will be next. It's already written. It was already said by <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> it was already said by your excellency. Uh, so it's definitely gonna happen. After the victory on March 8th, he'll be in line for the world titles. He'll be in line for the undisputed titles uh afterwards. And that's the plan. That's the plan. Defeat. Joshua, move on to the next step. Wow, that's it. That's that's huge. That's huge. That's huge. And uh, you know, people say Francis, uh, you know, an MMA fighter coming to boxing is a different ball game. And you know, you know, fully himself admitted at the last fight that himself he didn't know that Francis was going to give him a, a tough, a tough fight. And now, and now, you know, Joshua now is looking at what. Uh, what happened to Fury in the last fight against Francis? I think he's more prepared and all of that. So, what do you think could be working an advantage for Francis? Uh, you know, in, in uh, come a match eight. Well, first of all, Joshua, like you said, he's an Olympic gold medalist. He's won three fights in 2023. He looked tremendous last year. He's 34 years. old old in the prime of his career he's he's on an upswing right now he's feeling good and all and all of that um that's even better for 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 francis to show the boxing public how great he is quit saying he's an mma fighter he, he was a former ufc heavyweight champion he stepped into the ring against tyson fury his first boxing fight and he beat him he beat him straight up. The the two judges defeated Francis, but Tyson Fury did not. Um, and he goes to his second fight with the same mission to defeat another opponent. It happens to be the 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 excellent great champion Anthony Joshua, but that that does not matter to Francis. He's the best fighter in the world. He's going to show it again on March eighth. Mm. Wow, 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 wow. And and I think Francis is a good at the end of the day, my brother. At the end of the day, my, my African brother, my African brother, at the end of the day, Francis Ngano is the baddest man on, on the planet. <laughs> We're gonna see that on match it. But you know, you look at the, the two the, Francis is a hard puncher, Joshua too is a strong puncher. Uh I, I would likely to see a a, a, a a pound for pound punches and you know, I don't know because the two boxers are punchers, and in fact, uh, Tyson Fury admitted that uh, he never knew that uh, uh, Francis could punch so hard, that his punches are so heavy. And same for Joshua too. Joshua too is a hard puncher. So I would like to say, you know, a fight that has to do with punch for punch, pound for pound. So I would like you to see that. Well, well, you will definitely see that because you got two big, strong, athletic, muscular men with punching power. It's fire versus fire, power versus power. However, at the end of the day, you guys know who punched the hardest. It's already been recorded. It's in the books. Francis Gunner was the hardest puncher on this planet. 
right now. <laughs> and by the way, I agree with you, sir. Anthony Joshua hits extremely hard. He has one punch knockout power as well. It's a very dangerous fight. It's a very exciting fight. And that's why the whole world, including yourself, are talking about this fight right now. But at some point, you guys are going to start just calling Francis a legitimate excellent boxer he already conquered the world in ufc and and mixed martial arts by winning the ufc heavyweight championship he has a goal now to do the same thing in boxing and it's an incredible feat to to try to do but if anyone can accomplish it it's definitely francis and mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and you know saudi saudi rehat you know came alive in december with series of boxing fights, and it's going to come alight, you know, this February, you know, when uh, Usich and uh, Tyson Fury take. So, who will you like? Who do you like, you know, Francis to to meet for the title fight? Would you like him to meet, you know, Fury for like a revenge fight, and you know, or will you like, you know, perhaps uh, 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 Usich to win, and you know, perhaps in case Fury and uh, Francis wins? So, which opponent would you like Francis to to meet in case? He beats uh, Joshua. No, listen. Don't play with me, man. Don't play with me. You know who I want to win. You know it, brother. You know what I want to see. You already know it. You know, Usyk is an excellent fighter. Fury's an excellent fighter. But you know what I want to see. I want to see Francis and Fury, too, for all the belts. I want to see Francis and Gunnel defeat Anthony Joshua, and we will see that. And I also want to see Tyson Fury defeat Usyk, and I actually got a lot of respect. I like Usyk a lot, but I want to see Fury beat Usyk, Francis beat Joshua, and they meet for the rematch and all the undisputed world championships in heavyweight boxing. The winner takes all one night in a rematch fight. That's what I want to see. The world wants to see that. That would be the most con the most compelling, exciting boxing fight for all the belts in the last 25 years of boxing. Wow. Wow. I can see that. <laughs> wow. wow. So what's, what's the atmosphere like in, in, in Saudi now, in Riyadh? What's the atmosphere like, you know, what's it like ahead of the fight? What's it like? The fans uh, are they are they waiting? Are, you know, are spitting for the fight. Uh, what's it like in Saudi now? Right now, um, we're here so early that it's, it's pleasant. When people see Francis, of course, they get excited and want pictures and all of that. But right now, we're just laying low, being humble, and working hard. Uh, Saudi's great. The weather's great. The uh, atmosphere is great. We're in an exuberant hotel, elegant as it as it becomes, uh, world class VIP treatment for everything we need and want. Um, Saudi Arabia is heaven on earth, and the most hospitable, the most elegant, uh, proper situation that you could ever be in, man. Uh, we're happy, we're excited, but we're working hard. And like I said, our focus is victory on March 8th. Mm, wow, 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 interesting. So what are the training facilities like in Saudi? Perfect facilities in terms of training and all of that. Top-notch, you know, no issues with the facilities top and all notch, of that. Top-notch, top-notch. I can only think of one word to even try to describe what's going on out here and that word would be exemplary. It's exemplary what's going on out here. It's flawless. I mean, that's it's flawless. It makes going to other places not as um, exciting. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So ahead of this bout, just two questions. May I can see you, you're excited, super excited. So for this bout, uh, what's the like? What's the what's the title? Say again, where's what? What'd you say? Repeat that, please, sir. We're not taking it all. So what's in for, for years? And uh, he was able to get that in one fight again, you know, fully. So I want to know for this fight, the, what's, what's, what is at stake for the two boxers? 
What's who? I, you you were blinking out. I still don't understand the question. Repeat that again, sir. Okay, you, okay. You, you, you blinked out and you popped in in the middle of your, your statement. Oh, so sorry. So sorry. That network, network. So I'm saying that the last fight where Francis had with uh, uh, Fury, it was Fury. a big fight. Yes. He made a lot of money from yes. the fight. And he said yes. uh, the money he could not make in in, in, uh, in, a, in a UFC. MMA. He made yes. it in boxing. So I want to know for this fight now, so what is in for the two boxers? How much is involved? And who is it? Will not takes it all, or maybe Ty, uh, you know, Joshua takes sixty, fully take forty. So what's it like? Well, it's not like that. Turkey Ali Sheikh, Your Excellency here in Saudi Arabia doesn't do that. That kind of corrupt boxing business, like everywhere else. They come with a fair pay for both fighters to be happy with, and they fight. I don't get into the contracts or all that personal business stuff that's between Francis and his management team. I'm his coach. My job starts once the fights are decided, the contracts are signed, and we go into camp. I can tell you, if Francis signed the fight, he's happy with what he's making. Um and my job starts once we start training. And that's what I focus on. So I'm sure he's happy with, with what he got paid. Um, I don't disclose that type of information, but March 8th, stay tuned. Make sure you 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 watch the fight. It's gonna be very exciting. Everybody in Africa, this is a great fight. It should be called the Rumble and Riyadh because Rumble you got the Nigerian <laughs> brother. You got the Nigerian brother versus the Cameroonian brother. Both yeah. big, strong, powerful, athletic guys. And they're going to clash. They're going to clash on March 8th. And uh, you already know what we expect. We expect victory. Wow, wow, wow. It's nice. It's not having you. And for me, it's like, it's like for me, I, I'm always, I'm in fact, I'm even dreaming of how to be in Saudi if I have the opportunity, you know, to meet with you one-on-one, -on -one, have a handshake with you. I also meet with Francis because I've also followed him, you know, in his UFC, UFC, you know, career and all of that. It's, well, I don't know, maybe it's something you guys can make happen. Let's see how it goes. I'm available to be in Saudi. If you want me to be in Saudi, and perhaps... If you're in I Saudi, I definitely will meet you, do a personal interview with you, shake your hand, all of that. You come to Saudi, I'll definitely make sure we meet. By the way, just as people are watching this, this is pineapple juice I'm drinking. It's not alcohol. I don't drink any alcohol. I don't drink or smoke. So just for the declaration this pineapple juice I'm drinking just to make my throat uh good mm, wow fantastic so lastly uh you, you are the coach of francis now uh, like i said in the first uh, question or two i asked you know mike tyson you know you know trained coach trained him ahead of his fight with with um uh tyson fury is mike tyson tyson also going to train him also in this fight or you are the one training him personally well, 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 remember, I, I trained Francis for the last fight. Mike Tyson would come in and do some some time with Francis. Um, Francis has his core team. Mike Tyson and him are friends, just like Mike Tyson and I go back since the 90s. Mike, Mike Tyson used to come and watch me fight, so we're friends. So when Mike has the time, when he can, when he can show up to camp and work, absolutely. Uh, it, it's... Bob, when he wants to do what he wants to do, we're always open and an open invitation for Mike Tyson to come through, help the team out, uh, and all of that. Regardless of, of, of anything else, guys, March 8th, make sure you tune in to a fantastic night and an exciting fight. Preston and Gun will be ready, and uh, that's the bottom line. Mm, wow. Fantastic. Thank you so much. And uh, seriously, um, I'm happy meeting you online. And hopefully, I'll uh, meet with you one on one, maybe in Saudi. But you can make it happen. You can just talk to Francis, and I'll publish the story and I'll share the link with you hopefully next week. And I'll, you know, I'll write the story, do it. And if you watch Google My Name, I've been doing a lot on Francis. I've been writing stories about him, uh, you know, since he moved to boxing. His fight with uh, Tyson Fury, I did a lot of stories, you know, talking about yes. the fight and all of that. And even when
Anthony, you got cut out. Also, Dewey is the president of Team Combat League. If you want, he can elaborate a little bit more on that. Yes. Yes, you know, to even fight a, a world champion, you are going to boxing for the first time, and you try to fight a world champion. You know, you know, fighting fully in the first time, it, it takes guts, it takes boldness. A lot of, uh, you know, you know, boxing fans didn't give him the opportunity. Uh, they were like, oh, you know, uh, you know, fully will mess him up and all of that. But, you know, we saw what happened. He took uh, fully into the canvas and we saw that. Again, one more thing I just remember. Does it mean that, you know, mixed martial arts is more difficult than boxing? Or boxing is difficult because when you see somebody from mixed martial from UFC, in less than how many months, in a few months now, it's like it's dominating. It's dominating boxing. So what does it make of boxing? Well, you know, it's 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 not about what's better or what's harder. Of course, in mixed martial arts, you have to defend many things, not just hands. You have to defend punches, kicks, knees, elbows, um, grappling, takedowns, wrestling, um, submissions. There's a lot of different things coming to you, but just because of what Francis did to Tyson Fury does not mean that MMA. Uh, any MMA guy can do that. You guys got to understand, Francis is a once-in-a-lifetime type of athlete, and uh, he has a once-in-a-lifetime type of a triumphant story. Just through his story, the perseverance and and the willpower that he showed is a reflection of what he does in the cage and not what he's doing in the ring. So they're all difficult because it's a fight. Man versus man, whether you're doing it with just the hands or doing it in full mixed martial arts rules, it comes down to the people, the person, and what transpires once that bell rings. Um, I've done all three professionally, boxing, kickboxing, and mixed martial arts. Boxing, the pace is faster and, and all of that. For MMA, you got to have a bigger heart and be willing to take some pain because there's a lot of shins, clacking on shin, and bone on bone. And also, the wrestling element is very tiresome and hard to deal with. So, um, it's, it's apples and oranges when when you say what's harder. Uh, but But what's more painful and what's difficult is to calculate all those different things, stopping the takedown, getting kicked in the leg, kicking, kneeing, elbowing, wrestling, grappling, submissions. MMA has a lot of things going on, and it's a very, very tough sport. Hello, hello. Anthony, you there? Anthony. <laughs> Probably having some kind of satellite problems being in Africa. Yeah. <laughs> Anthony. <laughs> Yeah, it call must have dropped or something. No, he's still on here. Okay. Anthony, you're you're muted. Oh, can you hear me? Yes, we hear yes, you. Yes, Yeah, you yeah. excited, my brother. Quit quit muting your phone. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm super excited. I'm super excited. And uh I think uh uh for now that's that's good. That's you know, meeting with you, that's yes. Inspiring Anthony, and, uh, um, if we could just ask Dewey about Team Combat League, he's the president. Uh, I didn't hear you. Team Combat League, Dewey, do you want to say a little bit about Team Combat League? Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, Anthony, Anthony, since you're such a boxing enthusiast, you love Anthony Joshua, and you keep talking. You said you first started writing about Francis when he had his first boxing fight, which, by the way, I'm disappointed. You should have been writing about Francis way before. Uh, 2023. Anyway, obviously you're a boxing enthusiast. Well, I'm the president of this new company. We're into our second season starting in March called the Team Combat League. Anthony, remember this. Team Combat League. It's the new, it's professional boxing. 
with a twist. It's a team concept, and it's the most exciting boxing format you will ever see. When you get off the phone with me, Anthony, go to YouTube, go to our YouTube channel at Team Combat League YouTube channel, and there's a lot of fights from season one. Click on mm -hmm. any fight, and you're gonna and you're gonna love what you see. So mm -hmm. tell all your all your listeners, all the people that support you, go to Team Combat League YouTube channel or TeamCombatLeague.com. Check us out. Season two is starting in March on March 28th. We have the most exciting boxing, professional boxing you'll ever see. Hmm. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. Wow. Wow. I'll, I'll take my time. I'll check that out. I, I'm, I promise. Yes. I'll check that out. Uh, well, yes, I we, say we have you. a bunch of fighters from Africa on the team. We have fighters from all over the world. There is no politics with Team Combat League. The best fights the best all the time. And, and you know, and, and I guarantee it's action personified. So make sure you check it out, my African brother. <laughs> wow. Thank you, you know, Copper, for your time. And uh, for me, it's, it's worth it. And uh, I hope to talk more again and all of that. So I was even wondering, uh, I didn't have your phone number. I would have called maybe your next mail when I finally your mail. Just share your phone number with me. I share mine with you. So once in a while, we can just yeah. have a WhatsApp, WhatsApp well, talk. Just, just, well, just follow me on Instagram and we'll talk from there. Yes, Anthony, My if you'd like to connect with Dewey, um, I'll, you know, you can be in contact with me. For now, we're not going to share personal, um, his personal number, but I'd be happy to arrange something in the future. Okay. Yes. Okay. No problem. Just right on. Thank no you. Hi, right, Anthony. Thank you. Have yeah, a good cheers, one. Man. Cheers, man. Uh, cheers, man. Cheers. All for now. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> yeah, bye. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Thank <laughs> you.